Hello, welcome to the episode of Ibu Vlogs. In this mini series, we're going to be showing you our favorite hawker stalls. And in this episode, we're going to be trying the classic chicken rice. I actually um, tried this chicken rice first because uh, my friend recommended it to me. Uh, it's actually this one. Eh, you know my friend. I'm just joking. Lah. Chicken Thai, white chicken Thai rice. And I also got the kian. I don't know what the kian is called. But uh, it's like the, the innards, like the hard one. Okay, so this is chicken rice and it only cost me three fifty. And uh, one thing nice about the place is that they will debone it for you. So it's like a bit more convenient to eat, especially if you're ordering like bony parts. You can ask for three sauces as well, right? So like for me, must have is the obviously the chili and the black sauce. But the other thing that I love is the ginger. I think it's ginger. I mean, the mixture of those three is just like fantastic. Hmm. I think the chili is slightly spicy, but I think most people will be able to take it. Or oh, the the liao is so generous, like it gives so much rice. The skin on the chicken is so mm, good, bouncy, soft, flavorful, fatty. Time to try the kian. Crunchy, probably unhealthy for you, but that's why I like it. <laughs> all in all, I would rate it better than your average chicken rice store because every chicken rice stores are not really worth going to, but they're not so good until you travel from the west all the way until to Payo just to try the chicken rice out of twenty seven. I'm in the car. I'm going to leave very soon to introduce to you guys my favorite chicken rice store. It's in Yochukang. For context, right, I actually stay in the west. So for me to travel all the way to the north, east, east, central part of Singapore, honestly, it's quite an effort. But good food makes me happy. So I'm just going to go for it and feel like the happiest girl alive in this entire world. I actually chanced upon this place when I was around the area and I saw this really long queue. So the Singaporean in me was like, Chica, you gotta queue. You've got to try this. So I'm going to try. No regrets. I'm going to head over right now. See you guys there. We are back after 15 minutes of queuing up. There's some pickled cucumbers and uh, with a lot of chili and ginger. So we ordered the chicken Thai and wing set. So that costs about $5. I think the range is about 3 to $5. So it's very affordable. I actually have this habit of mixing my rice with the chili. I need to make sure all the greens are coated before I can eat. If not, I just, uh, I cannot eat. I'm just treating it as gravy, basically. The rice is not too oily. It's not too dry either. So that's great. Actually, I have a chicken rice as a checklist that I need to have. So the first one, right? The most important part is the chili. The second is the rice and then the third is the chicken. So the chicken right, as long as it's not too bloody, not too dry, I'm generally okay with it. But the chili is my make or break situation. It will either make me gloomy the entire day or really happy for my entire life. It's a kind of sourness to the, to the chili but at the same time there's a nice kick to it. But it doesn't overpower the flavour of the rice, so I think it's really good. Hi everybody, I'm on my way to get chicken rice from the one and only store that I know and can recommend, which is Boon Tong Ghee. Yeah, I'm quite basic because I don't think I've had enough chicken rice from many different stores to really have the best chicken rice in my life. So far, Boon Tong Ghee is the only one that I feel like take off every boxes I have in my checklist that I feel is needed for chicken rice. So I'm gonna get the signature boiled chicken rice. Okay, so in the chicken rice, the most important thing for me are the sauces that they give. Aside from chili sauce and dark soy sauce, wow, I tell you, if they give you ginger as well, you know it's a good chicken rice sauce. And Buntongi also gives this packet of sauce. I don't know, I'm not sure if it's sesame oil with light soy sauce or something. But you're supposed to drench your chicken in this sauce. And wow, I tell you, it really makes the taste so much better. This is the chicken. Ooh. Another important thing about chicken rice is the rice itself. If it looks like it's glistening, right? Because it's... Oops. Oily. Oh my god, this is good. 
very fragrant. Each grain of rice is separated, it's not sticky. Okay, so this is how I eat my chicken rice. First, a spoonful of rice. The chicken meat goes on top. I love chicken breast because it's full of meat and there's no bones, so easy to eat. Oh. Then add a bit of dark soy sauce, a, two drops, some chili sauce, and some ginger. Wow! Look at this. Then you just eat everything. Mm. All the flavors go so well together. There's the spice from the chili. The chili is damn good by the way. A little sweetness and saltiness from the dark soy sauce. But the ginger just adds another layer of flavor to everything. The chicken meat is so good. The sauce that the chicken meat is soaked in makes the chicken so much more flavorful as well. Basically, every single component tastes very good on its own. And when you put it all together, it does not clash. It like blends together in harmony in my mouth and just... Wow. So this box of chicken rice costs $6 and honestly, I do think that it's quite expensive la, for just chicken rice. But I don't eat it often. I eat it once every few months. I think in a year, I will order it less than 5 times. So to me, that's fine. Raining also come in all the chicken rice. That's how good the chicken rice is. And that's how much I care for eat book. You see, eat book will ask me to go and block this. I straight away next day come and buy chicken rice. See? Let me not. Eat book. Mwah, mwah. <laughs> Hi guys, so today I'm gonna show you what is my favorite chicken rice. My favorite chicken rice is from Alexandra Food Village. It's called Zi Jing Chen, Hainanese Boneless Chicken Rice. So in terms of price, it's about $15 for half a chicken with four rice. For a single like portion of the chicken rice, it's only $3. And with the half a chicken, there's also cucumber as well as acha. Not all chicken rice stalls give you acha, which I love acha, so it's a plus point for me. So the reason why this is my favorite chicken rice is because the brown sauce that they give you is so umami, it's very very tasty. So they only have white chicken and their white chicken is very silky smooth, very tender. Usually I prefer roast chicken but this is a glaring exception. I have a few criteria actually when it comes to chicken rice. Number one is that they have to use yo fan. I know some of you think that like, oh my god, yo fan is so, I mean, the chicken rice is going to use yo fan, right? But this is not true. I have had the misfortune of eating chicken rice where the rice is just plain white rice and I don't know why they did that but yeah. Second of all, there needs to be the brown umami sauce that comes with the chicken rice. It gives the chicken extra flavour and extra dimension and depth to the flavour of the chicken. Number three is that because I like to eat chicken breast, the chicken breast has to be very soft and very tender. There are some shops where the chicken breast is very very hard. It's like eating rubber and no matter how you chew, it still refuses to dissolve. But my favourite chicken rice store is not like that. The chicken breast is soft and tender. Yes. With chili, dark sauce. But to be honest, I think this chicken is good enough on its own. But I want to be extra. Mm. My favorite part of the chicken is the breast. And the breast has to be very tender. Uh, I can never understand people who choose chicken wing chicken rice. Because chicken wing got no meat. Then you still have to excavate the meat from the bone. My parents are disagreeing behind the camera. Comment down below in the comment section which is the best part of the chicken when you eat chicken rice. I love cucumber. I am done. So that was a very satisfying lunch. I would say that well worth the trip down to Alexandria Food Village because the area has so much good food. So after this video, I hope you guys will go and support the hawkers at Alexandria Food Village as well as other hawkers. A lot of these shops have excellent old recipes that you know they have been perfecting over many many years. So I hope that these shops will survive uh, this mini circuit breaker. Yeah, that's all from me. Bye!
Thank you for watching this episode of Ibu Vlogs. Let us know your favorite chicken rice down below. And if you like this video, you can check out more over here. And don't forget to like, share,